so our next presentation is a live one. Um, it's Shir Afzal Khan. And Shir Afzal Khan has more than 14 years of professional experience in the field of information sciences, knowledge management, information communication technologies, open source technologies. He's been a research and development lead trainer, consultant open source. Um, so a long and, and interesting career. Um, he is also a member of the Board of Trustee and Vice Chairman Reed Pakistan, founder of Koha Pakistan, winner of IEEE, which I'll have to look up later, um, Emerald and other international awards. He has an in-depth command on supporting consulting open source software and has successfully completed more than 40 open source projects, both nationally and internationally. He is also the country ambassador for DSpace open source software by MIT University for Pakistan. He's conducted many, many workshops, training sessions, has been a speaker at international conferences in many countries, and is an all-round um, achiever. <laughs> I had to abridge that a little bit because it's, um, there are so many wonderful achievements and um, we can read the rest of those notes alongside the, the, the program. Um, but very soon, we're going to cut over to the, um, the live presentation and I'll say thank you very much um, to Shur Afzal Khan for um, being available live and bringing this to us today. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I would like uh, to say thank you, the whole community, for being organizing such a wonderful campus. Uh, during this uh, COVID pandemic, uh, my uh, sincere wishes to the whole community of, uh, of the Koha Khan campuses, especially for the organizer. <coughs> my name is Sher Abzal, and I'm the president of Koha Pakistan, and really excited to interact with the, my family, Koha family. And here in Pakistan, it's 4 a.m., but I'm still uh, wake up to uh, interact uh, with my with my family with my koha family so uh, really excited to uh, present uh, my paper, paper online uh, but i wish uh, i i i was there to see you all in the koha campus uh, physically but unfortunately due to this pandemic we are not able to uh, uh, visit your country i miss this time but uh, i hope Next and next year we will meet, inshallah. <clears throat> Thank you very much. My topic of uh, presentation is user perception, user per user perception of and experience of Koha uh, with the Pakistan LIS community. Recently, I have conducted this uh, survey for my uh, annual conference, so I will discuss about uh, uh, what Pakistani community is thinking about the Koha and how they are uh, serious about implementation of Koha in libraries. Uh, <clears throat> introduction to my slides, so the open source movement has its roots in the 1970s and has con continued to grow the popularity in 1999s, uh, says by um, uh, Williams. <clears throat> Pakistan OSS has created new opportunity for libraries when most libraries uh, are facing budget cuts and dry and they cannot afford to maintain the uh, um, proprietary integrated library management system in use. Open source software compared to uh, proprietary software is an ex in, in ex uh, If it's not free, many libraries have uh, opted for open source solution. Koha is one of the example for open source library solutions, which was initially developed uh, in 1999 by Kipto Communication uh, Company and uh, Harman's Library Trust New Zealand. My background of the study was to understand the usage and popularity of Koha IMS in Pakistan LIS community. And the second, uh, my objective was to know about the reason and adoption of Koha by, uh, by our community. Uh, what kind of uh, hurdle and challenges uh, they are facing in adoption in Koha, and what is the satisfaction level of Pakistani community about the uh, Koha use? What is the experience of Koha with uh, these uh, librarians and efficiency and effectiveness of Koha IMS modules? 
So I ask this type of question from these users which are using Goha in Pakistan, and I will discuss in next slides how they are thinking about that. Uh, in Pakistan, we have started in 2007. The uh, Park Lake team introduced Koha in Pakistani community, and they were working about to implementation of Koha in Pakistan libraries. The adoption of Koha uh, LMS Pakistan is uh, comparatively slow due to the different region among the community. One of the most main reason was uh, the computer literacy among the librarians because the librarian does not know about uh, the Koha, uh, the Linux operating system, and uh, uh, the computer's uh, skills. But the popularity of Koha compared to other uh, open source software and uh, relatively more popular in Pakistan due to the active use, user Koha Pakistan community uh, and others community as well. They are working for promoting the Koha in Pakistan libraries. Uh, open source software, especially Koha and DSpace, were introduced in the market. And the uh, people were thinking about these software uh, because these uh, software was open source and very easily to uh, install in libraries without any uh, without any cost. Free open source uh, movement is pretty slowly, but uh, started in Pakistan. A large number of training sessions of workshops were conducted, and various organizations that is government, private, semi government, and myself, I have conducted hundred plus workshops about Goha throughout the countries uh, in, uh, in in four provinces. And we have also conducted a long session trainings for one month for the special organization. For that reason, some of the uh, community uh, uh, was aware about the use of Koha and the popularity of Koha was beginning from that time. So uh, uh, the libraries were, uh, were very, uh, very keen to adopt Koha software in their libraries. Due to the large number of training sessions in Koha, the situation is now being changed. The libraries, this is a academic, public, and college libraries adopted Koha LMS in their libraries. From 2011 to 2020, uh, I myself organized many workshops in different organizations, and we have also implemented, uh, uh, implemented Koha in various organizations in Pakistan, that is, uh, universities, uh, a, a renowned university in Pakistan are now using Koha. And there are some organizations they are working for the promoting of Koha uh, software. One is the Akhtar Khamid Khan Resource Center. Uh, this uh, center organized a large number of training sessions for the Koha community in Pakistan. And they have trained more than 700 to 1,000 librarians about Koha and uh, other open source softwares in their, uh, in their annual training sessions. So many organizations are also trying to conduct a workshop like FFs. Uh, like uh, National Assembly of Pakistan and so on. They are conducted training session for their librarians and IT staffs. We have also conducted these training for their librarians and uh, in uh, IT staff. The, uh, the, the efforts were made to make the Koha easy uh, for all those librarians who have no knowledge of Linux and other computer application. A custom live DVD of Koha and DSpace has uh, been uh, developed by the Koha Pakistan and Polstech company, uh, Polstech consultant company team for those libraries who have fallen in adoption in Koha and their libraries. This was the biggest challenges for me to how I, 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 uh, I, uh, how can I convey the message to the, uh, those librarians which they are not knows about the computer skill, how they install Koha in their library. So we have developed uh, three different DVDs uh, version uh, to uh, install these software is leaving their libraries. So um, we have also created a uh, for the community and now we have more than 4,000 members in this uh, Facebook group. We have interact with people. We have also uh, um, make a e e emailing groups so they can easily uh, send their email uh, problems. And we have also organized annual conferences of Koha in Pakistan. So the uh, due to these conferences, the awareness of Koha were now being spread uh, uh, the entire uh, uh, countries and every college, every school, and every university library knows about Koha, what is Koha, and what does it work. So uh, we organized these two international conferences in Pakistan. So one was Koha Con uh, 18 and one was Koha Con 19. 
and these conferences uh, a large number of uh, of communities but participated and we have also uh, uh, we have also some uh, session with international community and international community also participated in these conferences due to these annual conferences live dbts training session all these things the situation in now big change uh, the koha uh, adoption in pakistan libraries are now uh, uh, now very uh, very very popular and everyone now use koha library and ticket access in their school in their school college and university library and they are very satisfied to use these softwares uh, i have uh, prepared a, uh, a structure uh, online questionnaire and for those i have asked some question about these people uh, how they are satisfied what are, why uh, what kind of problem they are facing by using this uh, software i asked question detail about the koha implementation problem using about the modules of koha the questionnaire was sent to all the all four provinces of the country and the response was 60% academic public and special libraries across the country they were participated in the survey and i'm very pleased to inform you that everyone who are participated they are very enthusiastically and very good uh, to know about the koha awareness and they were only uh, shows one problems uh, uh, about the koha installation and koha configuration and then the separate system rather than they have no any question about how to use the koha koha is very easily and friendly uh, software but uh, somehow the installation and configuration in the printing system they are they are facing some problem coming to the result of my uh, survey and my research the result uh, shows that most of the university libraries are using koha ilms in their libraries the perception in pakistani community about koha they are thinking that this this is a very large software and that this is only for the university but i can make my message to this library and that you can also use koha in college and school libraries too and they, this software is not only for the university libraries not only for the academic not, not only for the public you can use school college and university and special libraries the koha is now using widely in, uh, 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 using widely in the country the reason for this popularity is the awareness created by the pakistan koha community among the is community in pakistan we are working day and night uh, to uh, help our community about the use of koha because uh, as a developed nations we are facing some budget cuts and we are trying our level best to uh, create awareness among our community for the using of koha the different seminar training session and annual conferences play a vital role in the popularity of koha in pakistan as i discussed earlier and this is the main reason Because, uh, now our message is being spreading throughout the country koha is now, koha is now uh, the most popular software in our country the result shows that 57.7 percent user are now switch to koha uh, from other proprietary software other uh, manual system they are using so uh, uh, 39.5 percent user never used any automatic library management system before uh, uh, in, before this in our peer libraries 78% user says that the technical capability is the main factor behind the adoption of koha data migration is also the biggest problem of switching koha from any other uh, library integrated management system the satisfaction of koha among the user is very 65% of user has very satisfied from the koha functionality so uh, the uh, the uh, everyone every librarian which I, which i discuss with uh, in, during my survey they are very satisfied the functionality of koha but the main problem is they are facing while they are installation uh, installing the koha in linux operating system and uh, uh, when they are switching from one system to another system data migration will also facing some problem but now they have uh, they are thinking uh, that uh, installation is not a big deal now because we have created now recently i have created a new uh, version of uh, live dvd with the uh, debian uh, operating system so uh, it's very easy to install so now they are very happy about these live dvds and after that they are very um, they, are, they are very crazy to in, uh, install and use the koha library management system the koha library dvd by the koha pakistan community play a very important role in most of the library in pakistan using koha pakistan library dvd for the adoption of koha in their libraries Uh, coming to the conclusions, uh, as I discussed, that uh, now we are spreading this uh, 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 koha with uh, our community by, uh, for the using of all kind of libraries. 
Koha Integrated Life Management System is now a uh, slow and speedy production Pakistan automation markets. The result shows that uh, majority of the libraries are using Koha. Those which are uh, those libraries they, uh, which they are not using Koha, they are now trying to switch over from any commercial software to Koha. And I received uh, uh, 10 to 15 messages on a daily basis how we can install Koha and how we can uh, how we can convert our system to Koha library integrated system. So the user are fully satisfied from the function of the local support of the Koha. The main reason of adoption of Koha is live DVD, which was developed by the Koha Pakistan community and host tech solution to most of the libraries installed Koha from their live DVDs. So the migration of data was also the biggest issue in adoption of Koha, but due to the large number of training sessions and, uh, and the librarians have the capability to convert all the data to more format and import to Koha elements. Now they are they are very really uh, they, are, they are trends, and I think 10% of the library in Pakistan knows how to convert data to Mars and uh, how to import it to Goha. So now this, this is not a big deal now uh, of the data migration, but uh, uh, when they are thinking about switching to some other software, they are thinking about losing up data, they are thinking about the system migration. But uh, the popularity of uh, open source software in Pakistani markets now totally changed. And we have, and we are pleased to uh, announce that at uh, I think 95 percent of the libraries in Pakistan now thinking to switch over the uh, from the any commercial software to Koha. And uh, we have now our big project uh, in Pakistan, uh, like uh, one of the organization in Pakistan, uh, which is called Plastic. They are now hosting cloud-based system in Pakistan, and they are integrated. Uh, they are integrated many libraries. To, uh, to host the uh, cloud system. They are providing services, the Union Catalog of Pakistani libraries. So uh, one of the other biggest pro project in Pakistan was e-libraries in Pakistan, which are developed in, by the Punjab government, and they have established 20 libraries in Pakistan, and all these libraries are integrated with Koha. So this is also a big news for the community. Uh, they are using Koha in their 20 libraries. So other Pakistani university libraries, like Air University, we have uh, created the um, uh, uh, UN, UN, UN catalog, and we are using 12 libraries integrated in this system. Then, uh, previous my previous organization, Bay University, we have also seven to eight libraries in Koha uh, with one interface. So, uh, another big uh, project of uh, uh, one of the um, uh, top banking universities in Pakistan, NUST, uh, they are also using Koha in their entire libraries. So these are the biggest uh, uh, example in Pakistan. These are the biggest university in Pakistan. They are using Koha in their libraries, and they are really uh, satisfied by using Koha in their libraries. So based on the result in the study, the Koha open source library system is well accepted among Pakistani libraries for use of their respective libraries. The, uh, the finding of the study have uh, demonstrated positive option on, uh, of system in Koha, they are satisfied with the information quality system quality in system platform of Koha. They have a high uh, uh, level of uh, awareness satisfaction and confidence in the use of this software. So uh, uh, this was my presentation from my side. Uh, if, uh, if there's any question uh, uh, relevant to my presentation, you can ask and you can ask easily. And, I, and again, I'm very thank, thankful to the organizer uh, they organize, uh, who organized this Koha Con uh, uh, remotely from online. And some of the people were the present there. And uh, I miss you all. And I wish in the next annual conference we will meet, uh, inshallah, in uh, anywhere uh, where Koha organize uh, uh, the Koha Con 2021. So uh, from my side, this was my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any question, you can ask.